Good evening, good evening. This is Mike, W1SRR. I'm just going to do a brief show and tell of my my portal kit that I took with me when I went up to my last uh, activations. I did uh, Illinois, uh, I did Wyoming, I did uh, Minnesota, I did uh, South Dakota, North Dakota, uh, Iowa, and uh, Wisconsin. So I uh, did a bunch of different, did a bunch of states, and I completed my 50 states. And uh, I had a couple of people interested in uh, what did I use. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, showcase what I've used uh, during my activation. And um, you can take on it, build on it, and do as you wish. But this is just my my take on my equipment. I'm not gonna do my antennas just yet. Maybe that'll be a separate video uh, if anyone's interested. But right now. Uh, of course, if we're going to do parks on the air, I got my parks on the air, a little flag, and a patch that I'm going to put on that bag. Now the bag. People say, hey, Mike, you use the IC705. Why don't you use the Icon bag? Quite frankly, the Icon bag is a nice bag, but I think it's a little overpriced uh, for what it is, and I like the bigger bag. So I got this one at Ross. I think it cost me $40 uh has a lot of pockets it's made for a camera so everything is well protected um it, it's it's a nice bag and i've traveled with it Ooh, i wanted to i want all over the united states holy crap yeah i've actually traveled a lot with this bag um and it's been and it served its purpose well and and if it gets damaged or breaks or gets lost or something like that uh, I'm not crying over losing a $130 bag. I'm only crying about a $40 bag. So this is the big boy, the IC705. I have on it the QRP Labs dummy load that uh, was a kit. I purchased it as a kit and I 3D printed the, the housing on it and it's on the radio right now. <clears throat> Uh, the radio itself is got the Manfrotto uh, tripod uh, attached to the POV cage, and this is the full cage. So I'm going to go around the back. It's the full cage that uh, that's protective. This one also has a 307 battery, so it has a bigger battery pack on it uh, than is supplied with the uh, with the 705. Um, I attach a little BNC cap, so like that. Once I finish, I could just put that in there, cap it off. Um, next up is how I operate it. Oh, yeah, man, the, the KX, the KX cover, which is cracked. Uh, I still use it. It's a great acrylic cover. It's pretty, it's still pretty strong. Coworker at the fire department dropped it. Never replaced it, so uh, whenever I get a chance, I'll order a new one. But for now, it works just great, so it'll, it'll have to do. What else do I have here? Well, you have to have your documents, right? So my log book, so you can log when you go out to the parks or anything else, and you, so I got paper log. Then I have my passport to the national parks when I go to national parks. And I, it's fairly new still, so it's pretty stiff. But it's it's got some information. It's got a map, and I go out and uh, if I go if I'm at a national park, I get a stamp. What else do I have for my 705? Well, I got the stock mic. Stock mic works just great. Uh, also, I have the Heil lightweight uh, headset. This one is the Hotel Tango Hotel Dash India Two. Uh, it has the plugs for the ICOM HTs and um, it works really, really good with the 705. Um, I like it, has got put, put to uh, push to talk there. Um, it's really great up for operating out in the field and when you have high noise levels. So sometimes there's a lot of parks, you may go park somewhere and there's vehicles uh, driving up and down the roadway um things of that nature people operating machinery or just people playing music and you know enjoying themselves at the park but it's it's kind of hard to hear it 
straight from the radio and the or the speaker mic so this works awesome uh for two meter i have a couple of different antennas uh the smiley this is really a tri-band antenna but it works great and if you saw my video when i was on mount saint miguel up in california uh this is where i operated to do a soda operation so um it was it, it, it rocked bnc connector so it'll just go straight into the ic705 or if you like you can get a 90 degree uh, adapter and so like that it's up uh, vertical as opposed to sticking out i have no problems with it sticking out as long as you're cognizant that your antenna sticking out and you don't break it another one <clears throat> for when it's not too windy is this one this farad j uh roll up dipole uh what is it j pole roll up j pole it's actually very very nicely built um i put a, a s beaner there and you could put this on a tree you could put it on your poles um if you're in a hotel and you can you, you could put this on the side of the building uh anything like that anywhere inconspicuous and you know as long as it's not really waving around because this becomes like a little bit of a flag um so it could get tangled up and whatnot but it's a great great antenna so for two meter 70 centimeter farad j antenna look it up on google and the gentleman's in canada um yeah pay him some some love uh i highly recommend this antenna next up Chameleon Antennas has this SW analyzer. Um, it's actually very simple to use. It runs around $200, maybe $300, I forget. Uh, has, there you go, it goes 1.6 to 160 megahertz. So very nice, it'll do two meter. Um, simple to operate, great little tool. I highly recommend this as well if you don't want to take anything expensive. And when I'm talking expensive, I'm talking, you know, like a rig expert or anything like that. This is a great little tool. Um, next up is something I hardly ever use. I don't hardly ever use it, but uh, I carry it with me. This is the mat tuner. Um, have some kind of, of tuner with the radio. Something. Uh, this is a great tuner. The ICOM tuner is awesome. Awesome tuner. Um, that's another great one. And LDG makes a tuner. So there's different tuners for this rig. Um, although I don't use it, I like the option of having it. Uh, my antenna is a resonant, so I don't need it. But uh, in case something happens, I snap a wire, I have to put something up real quick. Um, anything like that, it's good to have the a tool there in the bag and it doesn't weigh nothing you know it's very it's fairly small so it's good to go next thing up is the uh dupe 50. so if you haven't had if you haven't gotten this uh show me excuse me got tangled up if you haven't picked this up yet i highly recommend it it's made by the olive ham club in japan it's a metal case it's heavy duty I put these caps on it to protect it. Uh, and uh, believe me, this works awesome. Uh, what you do is you put this to the, so you'll put it right where then you put it right in there and you can operate two different antennas at the same time. So you can operate the, uh, the dual band VHF UHF or you could do an HF and six meter antenna on one side and the other. Awesome tool to have. I highly recommend it as well. Lastly, you know, you guys know I'm a QRP guy, but this last time around, I decided to play around with this. It's only a 50 watt uh, heater, and uh, it's made by 60dbm.com. Um, I used it three times, I want to say, out of my maybe dozen uh, activations, and it's worked out really well for me. I was really happy with it. I only drove it with three watts, so I had the radio on three watts, and this, because I didn't have a SWR power meter for it, uh, I want to say it did about 30 watts. So 30 to 35 watts, um, which helped. It punch, helped punch through when I was trying to get those activations. Uh, lastly, power. 
So I usually don't walk around with a bigger battery, uh, but because I was using the amplifier, I decided, let me take this one. This one is a nine and a half hour. Um, I usually walk around with a smaller one, it's lighter, smaller. This one is a three amp hour. Um, I also have a couple of four and a half amp hours, which is about the same size, maybe a little bit bigger. Um, very important to have because this is a five watt radio, but you add one of those batteries to it, it makes it to 10 watts. So that is, that in itself is, a, is a, at least one more dB a gain. Uh, so that's awesome. Uh, of course, you got your power cables that's going to the radio. And I have like a, this little Power Works uh, PD4, which is like a little uh, distribution block. And um, everything is Anderson Power Poles. Everything that in my, everything I have is Anderson Power Poles. And it just makes it plug and play. Plug and play. All the batteries, everything is Anderson Power Poles. So I don't have to worry about anything. Red goes to red, black goes to black. It makes it easy. Uh, and especially when it's really early in the morning, it's foggy uh, or late at night and you, it's very little light. So you want to be able to plug in and you don't want to cross wires. Lastly, on the 705, another tool that I've used so you don't need that. If you don't have that, you can use the actual radio. So I like to show this to people. And you're gonna go to a menu. Go to menu right there. You see it says SWR. Bam. And you see that. See that like the little play and a stop button? What you can do is you can hit it, go to your microphone, and key the mic. Now, the reason that's not showing SWR, I got a dummy load on it. But if I didn't, if I had any other antenna, I would probably be, you, you would probably be seeing some kind of SWR. You know what? I am very curious to see my six, I don't have my six meter antenna with me. Jeez. Jeez, man. I might have to do it again. I might have to find my six meter antenna that I got with the, uh, for the FT817 and try it out here. So this is my IC705. Um, I know it's a long video. I do apologize. If you have any questions, any concerns or anything like that, just hit me up. Tell your friends, subscribe to the channel. Um, you know, this is, I'm not, I'm not a professional. I don't have the fancy graphics or anything like that. I just, uh, sometimes I throw an F-bomb. Sometimes uh, my Spanglish kicks in. Uh, I mean, mispronounce something, but I love radio. So, and I'm happy to share that with, with anyone who wants to listen. This is W1SRR and the IC705. My kit, my favorite kit ever. And I want to share that with you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great one, 73s.